Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be talking about some romances with fake dating in them. I do have one previous rec video with this trope, so I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting even more recommendations. I'm gonna be brutally honest, fake dating is not a favorite trope of mine. It's actually probably one of my least favorite tropes. I don't hate the trope. It's just not one that I reach for. Um, if it has fake dating in it, if someone tells me it's fake dating, I kind of like put it off to the wayside a little bit. Um, just cause I personally am not that big of a fan of them. I don't know what it is. Um, but the ones I'm going to be recommending and the ones that I have recommended before are like the cream of the crop, the ones that I actually really do enjoy. So I honestly also don't read a lot of them because it's not my favorite thing ever. Um, so yeah, take that for what you will, these ones are great and I actually really enjoyed the fake dating aspects of them. First, I have Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. This is a single dad romance and it's age gap and it's friends to lovers. There's a lot of amazing tropes in this book. This is about Farley and she is an up and coming stand up comedian and she gets this opportunity to tour with this very well known group of female comics. They're like PR team basically tells her like to get your name out there more how about you date um somebody and like your name will get out there more someone famous you know what i mean like someone that can get your name out there and uh turns out that her manager is the person she's gonna do that with his name is meyer and he actually used to be a comedian he is our love interest in this book um but once his daughter was born he kind of put up the mic if so to speak. Um, and uh, he hasn't really done stand up since then. But he's a little bit hesitant to agree to fake date Farley at first because he's terrified that Farley's going to realize that he actually has real feelings for her. But also flip flop, same thing for Farley. So definitely we both have crushes on both sides. I actually really enjoyed this fake dating aspect in here because I don't think it lasted very long if I remember correctly so I actually really enjoyed that part um I don't really like how how fake dating romances like span the whole book I kind of just want them to like figure out that they have real feelings for each other quickly <laughs> um but I really enjoyed the hero's daughter I loved her she is deaf and Farley also knows sign so they have a great relationship as well but yeah I really enjoyed this romance if you want a good age gap single dad I recommend this one. One of the most iconic ones is Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Miss Talia Hibbert. This is about Danny and Zaf. They're actually friends. They both work at a university. Um, they actually kind of like are very attracted to the other, but they're like, they've only been friends, okay? But they think the other one's very attractive looking, okay? So Danny is actually a professor at this college and Zaf is the um, security guard who works at the front desk of the building. One day there is a fire drill going on in the building and Danny's actually in the elevator during the fire drill, so she gets stuck in the elevator and Zaf goes to rescue her and basically carries her out of the building like they're seen on the cover right here, like fireman style. And people are actually recording this and filming it and they kind of go viral online. And this is actually a great thing for Zaf. So Zaf is an ex rugby player. He doesn't play rugby anymore, but he has this, um, I think uh, like camp where boys who play rugby can come and play rugby, but it also really incorporates mental health in there as well. In sports, that's not a big thing that men are given is times to talk about mental health, you know what I mean? A lot of opportunities to do that. So Zach really wants to prioritize that. And so with him going viral with Danny over here, um, it's kind of getting his name out there more with him and what he's doing currently with that business. So Zaf asks Danny to fake date him and kind of go on more viral, do more viral things with him in order to help these boys out. And she's like, okay, great. Like, yes, I'm down for it. She just has a little bit of ulterior motives because she's going to try to seduce Zaf in the midst of all this. <laughs> but like, she doesn't know that Zaf is only a relationship guy. Like he's not into like hookups, which Danny is. And so she's, also realizing that through getting to know Zaf, like, wow, like, I guess you can be with one person and want that one person, like, and I think he's my person. So I really, really enjoyed this one. It's like a staple for a reason. Finding Jean Kelly by Tori Jean. I love this one so much. This is Tori Jean's debut novel and it did not disappoint me. So this one's about Evie and Liam. They are kind of like childhood rivals, if you will. They don't really get along. I think they had a crush on each other when 
they were in high school or something and Liam kind of betrays her trust and she's hated him ever since then like does not like him she thinks that he doesn't like her like she's like Liam is my frenemy full life growing up Evie always wanted to live in Paris and open up a bakery and she's actually been doing that for a little bit she's been living in Paris and her best friend actually comes to visit her but brings along Liam and so she's like why is Liam here out of all the people in the world why did you bring Liam I don't want to spoil anything for you but they do have to fake date and like publicly like take pictures and post them online of them being together and stuff like that there's one scene in front of the Eiffel Tower that literally makes me melt like I love it so much where they have to like take pictures in front of the Eiffel Tower I love it um but yeah I really enjoyed this one there's also fantastic endometriosis representation that's own voices I really 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 love this one Bake It To You Bake It by Jamie Wesley is a recent read of mine I love this if you love baking like look no further great great book okay so our heroine of this story she is kind of known throughout America right now as like a heartbreaker because she was on The Bachelor if you will a show very similar to The Bachelor and she got chosen in the end by The Bachelor and he's like on one knee proposing to her on national television and she rejects him she says no um and so she's kind of like the most hated woman in America right now because she dumped like McDreamy basically she really needs a job and her grandmother sets her up at this bakery to work at this bakery the heroine's grandmother is actually the owner of the football team that the hero is on during the off season he runs and owns a bakery with some of his teammates so she ends up working at the bakery the hero's a little bit down on himself because he hasn't gotten a lot of business recently but then when the heroine starts working at the front counter and selling cupcakes people start noticing her and recognizing her from the show and more people start coming in to get cupcakes and whatnot and then one day a reporter comes in to interview Jada the heroine um, to get the inside scoop on what happened Jada does not do interviews she does not want to talk about what happened but the reporter assumes that the two of them are together since they work together Jada and Donovan end up fake dating to feed into the frenzy basically of America <laughs> and people from far and wide come to try their cupcakes and it's really fun it's great I really love these two characters they're very emotionally mature and I really enjoyed that two wrongs make a right by Chloe Lisa is one you have to read so B is our heroine and this is her romance with Jamie so these two meet one night when their friend group basically sets them up they're like okay you have to meet so and so we think they'll be great for you their first meeting doesn't really end like start or end off on the right foot they don't really like each other and they think the other person doesn't like them um but their friends won't get off their backs about setting them up so they just decide to fake date hopefully their friends will forget about it but of course while they fake date they end up getting to know each other more and uh falling in love Ugh, I love so many parts of this book like ugh, Chloe Lisa can do like no wrong in my eyes I love every single one of her books this one's so good I know the summary is very simple and like short but like I don't want to spoil anything if you want a short novella to read that will definitely get you in the like winter holiday mood set the record straight by Hannah Bonham Young so stinking good this is the romance between Clara and Evan and they are best friends this is a sapphic romance by the way and I think Clara like got in a situation where her co-workers think that she's dating Evan in this job she just recently got she doesn't want to like step on any toes or tell anybody she's wrong they're wrong so uh she just decided like goes to Evan is like can you pretend to be my girlfriend at this event or whatever because my boss thinks you're my girlfriend but I don't want to like correct her so like can you do that and Evan's like okay Clara doesn't know this but Evan has been hardcore crushing on Clara for years but she's always thought that Clara is straight and she never wanted to cross that line ever does not want to make her best friend uncomfortable so not happening um but then when they are fake dating you know what I mean um they actually kiss um and Clara's like whoa I don't think I'm straight because that was the best kiss of my life so <laughs> I really love these two it's great it's fantastic the fake dating part it's like fairly short so that's why I loved it obviously um but I love Hannah's writing so much like this one was beautiful another friends to lovers is marriage on Madison Avenue by Lauren Lane this is the third book in the Central Park pack series I mean you could read it as a standalone but I think it flows better if you read the other books in the series you also get to see these two characters be friends in the other two and like kind of like see their tension you know what I mean um but basically the moral of the three books like the main topic of the three books is that these three women the heroines of all three books in the series realized that they were all seeing the same man at his funeral 
and they're like what is going on so like his wife and his two girlfriends like had no idea about each other and like they actually become friends out of all of this it's actually it's more fake engagement because clark the hero of the story tells his matchmaking mother like you don't have to match make me to anybody because i'm already engaged to my best friend audrey <laughs> and audrey like goes along with it um to get his mother off of his back but then obviously like they start like planning the wedding or whatever the non-existent wedding yeah things just start happening it's it, it's fun it's a fun read this series is really fun it takes place in new york i love the new york setting next is neon gods by katie robert i think this is very iconic in the fake dating sphere um, this is a reimagining of Hades and Persephone. So uh, Persephone has been set up to marry Zeus and she's not about that. She's heard a rumor that he's killed all of his wives, not happening. So she ends up running away into the underworld and there is Hades and he's actually also significantly older than her. So there's an age gap there um, and he is going to pretend to be with her openly at his club either the club he owns or the club he attends. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's this club you can do stuff at. You can put two and two together to figure out what kind of club it is. Um, and they do things kind of publicly to show people like that she is with Hades, even though they're not actually together, but they'll still do stuff, you know what I mean? Um, because she does not want to be with Zeus and hopefully he will get the hint when he like hears that she's with Hades. I don't remember if this is contemporary or fantasy, or has paranormal aspects, I honestly can't remember, but it is Hades and Persephone retelling, so I always really love those. If you want a historical romance, I have Up All Night with a Good Duke by Amy Rose Bennett. Um, the heroine of the story is a writer, but no one knows she's a writer. I think she writes under a pen name. She writes gothic romance novels, and one day she's at a bookstore and just browsing the bookstore. She wants to open up this school for young women. Um, and anyway, the hero and her bump into each other at this bookstore. They're very captivated by it by each other. It's really funny because they run into each other and he's like, I need to find a book for a young girl in like her teens basically. I have a daughter and she's starting to read these gothic romance novels which I don't think are appropriate. It just happens to be the books that the heroine writes. <laughs> so um, he's like, I don't think these are appropriate and he needs more recommendations. So she provides more recommendations but um, anyway, the two of them do have to fake be together or engage. There's no fake dating in a historical romance. It's more fake engagement. Like you're either in the talking stages or uh, you're engaged. Like there's no really dating in between, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah, they do have to fake date for a specific reason. I don't want to spoil it, um, but I really love this one with the heroine and the relationship with his daughter. Great. If you want a fun, short holiday monster fantasy read, I know that was a lot. <laughs> you have to pick up Mistlefoe by Kimberly Lemming. This one is so funny. I laughed my butt off with this book. This series is the Mead Mishap series. This one's a novella part of it. And the heroine of the story um, has a dad who has been cursed. He's a blacksmith and everything that he makes, all the tools, the weapons, everything he makes, like talks. <laughs> So um, she really wants to get the curse lifted off of her dad. So she goes on a mission to go do that. She ends up bringing one of his talking swords with her. Her name's Alexis. She's hilarious. I love her. Um, so funny. During her journey, she ends up bumping into this fox demon. He needs to have a fake mate for the winter festival that he has to go to. And after that, after she's his fake date, he will lift the curse on her dad. It's so funny. I love it. It's so cute, so funny grand old time like please pick it up if you have not yet anyway so you have it those were 10 romances with the fake dating trope that i really did enjoy let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me the sword emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all